All right, what's going on, you guys? Today we are going to do 10 rounds on the heavy bag. So I have 10 combos for you to do. Uh, most of them are about four or five techniques long, similar to another shadow boxing workout that we did that's up on the channel. Uh, some head movements, some switches with the feet, a couple different things. So just know a lot of the tactics are built into the combos. So if, if you can't get to my website and purchase one of the instructionals there uh, that breaks down how to box, you can, you can learn to a certain extent through the combos, the tactics and, and the different ways things go together. You can pick it up in that way. Obviously, I'd rather you support me, uh, precisionstriking.com, but these are here for you to support you. The way it's gonna work is as usual, we start with two techniques for the first minute, sometimes three. If there's head movement or footwork, I want you to work on, we'll start with three. As the minute, the next minute comes, we add another technique, and then the final minute, we add another technique. And then we get a full minute break so that we can rest and recover and then go hard the next round. Also, in between your combos, usually about a three count break. So you throw the combo, uh, then one and two and three and uh, right? That's sort of like a three count. But you give yourself a four count or a five count if you need just a little bit longer. Another way you can do it is just by breaths. Take one or two breaths uh, and then go again. All right, so uh, let's just get into it. All right, so the first combo is one pull, one, two, one. All right, and we're gonna just start here with the jab, pull, one. All right, and again, it's the first round, so don't go too crazy the first round. You wanna get into a flow, get your body ready, get warmed up, because as we get to the seventh, eighth, ninth round, man, you're gonna be pushing it hard and really working it. So, you know, you can build yourself up as you go. Here we go. One, pull, one. And work on that pull. You can make it short or you can really clear. And you can even step in with that jab. Right? Moving around. Set it up. I went body head with that. You can do more body. Really pull. The key is you gotta be relaxed. Have that jab relaxed. Coming out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sort of that pace. One, two, three, four. All right, now we're gonna add the two. One, pull, one, two. Stay easy, stay easy. Because your right hand is just getting warmed up. One, pull, one, two. Be loose. The bag's gonna move, you gotta adjust to that. And move. All right, great work. Now continue. One, pull. One, two, one. All right, let's go. You want to put speed into it. Give yourself a nice recovery breath. Then. Put the hands together. All right, great work, you guys. Great work. Take a breath and relax and recover. Start up nice and loose. We worked a lot of straight punches there. So 
Next combo is going to be more coming around and different stuff. So catch your breath first. If you're working hard enough, you need it. We got 10 rounds today, so we're going to push it a little bit longer, a little bit harder than usual. All right, so next combo is going to be here. Overhand right, shovel hook to the body. Overhand right, shovel hook, lead uppercut. Overhand right. Okay, that's one of my favorite. Working on the inside. Set it up. You step in with it. We're going to start here. Step in. Step in, overhand right, shovel. Right, like so. Okay, be careful not to lean too much. Let your legs do the work for you. Yeah, let your legs do the work for you. And recover, get the hands up. And be loose. Nice and loose. And breathing on that. And then breathing in. Go long range. We can step in. Go short. Use your legs. Okay, now we can add the uppercut. Over, under, up. You can go here and just stub it. It's gonna be hard to get that. So if you wanna stub it or up, right? So turn the body. Usually when you hit that body, the chin is right there between the gloves. You can put some speed into it, a few of them, and then go to a fluid pace. Not every combo has to be all out. You want to feel the flow, and then every now and then, feel the power and speed. All right, now we're gonna add the overhand right. Ba, ba. Overhand right at the end is a short one. Here, ba, ba. You don't have much room, so you gotta work the torque on that little room. Get your rhythm. Stay with me. Get your rhythm. Ah, oh, great work, great work. Ah, oh, feels good, doesn't it? That's round two down. You can feel the lungs opening up. A little bit of lactic acid build up, but not too much just yet. So feel feel alive, you know? <laughs> feels good. Get some air inside you, and relax, relax. Relax your hands inside your gloves, relax, relax. This is real stuff, even though it's a workout. The only reason we call the combos is so that you can follow along. But if somebody just was to tell me to do this, this is as real as it gets. Just depends on the speed and, and the power you're putting into it. Maybe a little more footwork and moving around the bag if it wasn't on the camera, it wasn't in this tight space. But it's as real as it gets. Okay, next combo. Start here. Right hook to the body, lead hook upstairs, okay? Just here, boom. Hmm. If you want, you can go here and stuff it short, it's up to you. Inside. Body head. 
But sometimes I go here. To catch your breath, don't rush it, don't rush it. You see me, I'm trying to get too many in there. And cover when you're done. You can hit low here. If I'm fighting someone my height, I'm fighting a tall guy. Body's like about here. Ribs a little higher up. Keep your balance. Breathing. Keep your balance. Okay, now after this hook, after this uppercut, you're gonna hook, but you're gonna step with it. So you're gonna step, okay, as you hook. Here, uppercut, hook. Okay, create a little angle. And then we're gonna come down with that overhand right at the end. It's really nice. Little step, small step, just drop the weight. Nothing too big. Just three to four inches. That's it. Then you step off that center line, then here, bah, that's gonna be ready for you on the next bit. I tell you what, more fun to do these workouts with you guys here and do it by myself. All right. Now we're gonna add that overhand right short right here. Uppercut, step, back. It's just a short one. Right on the side between the guard and the ear right there. All right, let's go. Make sure you're set. That's it. I didn't step on that. Here I go. That's it. Small step. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Step into it. That's it. Good work. Ah, beautiful work. Breathe, feels good, feels good. Breathe and relax, nice work, nice work. If you get a chance, hit that like button for me. You shadow boxing, you take the glove off, hit that like button. After the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, support the channel, really appreciate it. It makes all the difference, all the difference in the world. Okay, relax, next combo is nice and clean, nice and straightforward. Some of these clean, straightforward ones, they feel really good. Not too much thinking, you're not too crammed. But sometimes it's good to work in the tight space. Get used to being in uncomfortable positions really means a lot. Like I said, this is gonna happen. If you're sparring, you're gonna be in uncomfortable positions all the time, you need that. All right, next combo. Starts with a one, two. Then it's gonna be a slip right, two, three. So let's just start with the one, two. Get a nice flow on that, feel your range, feel your distance, okay? Just make this one. We rarely get this simple, but these simple ones are so nice. Just feel that. First two knuckles. Nice and clean down the pipe. See that straight right? I want it nice and straight down. Not too much elbow, not too much of that. You gotta start getting ready. You're gonna be doing that slip, and it's short. Chin down and it's short. See, it's quick, not too big. That's it. Make sure you get your air in. Okay, now add the slip in the right hand. Dun, dun, slip, boom, okay? Let's do it. Just a short slip, chin down. 
That's it. I heard Manuel Marquez might be making a comeback. I was watching a video of him. He has his hands up. So nice like this. Look at like a textbook fighter you want to learn from. Sometimes you can be like this. Get a little too cocky. But if you got the head movement and the skills, it's okay. All right, now I have the lead hook at the end. One, two, slip, two, three, let's do it. Get that air, it's so important. Relax, relax, relax. Hey, you're working hard. Four combos in. It's gonna be a hard one. 10 rounds is not easy, especially this pace that we hit. Sure, some of the combos are two and three punches, but you can make them count. Especially if your body's moving with it, not just standing in one place. Okay, next combo, we're gonna work some Ali styles, okay? One, two, three. You're gonna work a triple jab as you move to the outside. So here, boom, boom, boom. Gotta get used to moving while throwing the jab. The feet make the jab work. So here, boom, boom, boom. And that's me over here, right? Show hook and set that up. It's a really nice combo, really practical, especially if you're an outside fighter moving. All right, here we go. If you want you to make the jab, Vertical, often like Ali, you can still torque it and turn it over. You can still torque it and turn it over, and then move back, and then have fun with it. That's it. And then move back. And then move back. Got to use those feet. Got to use those feet. That's it, circling the outside. We're moving back. Chum, chum, chum. Set on the rhythm of your bag. Chum, chum, chum. Your bag's gonna have a certain rhythm. Okay, maybe you gotta wait a second. Chum, chum, chum. You're definitely gonna feel this in the shoulder. It's good for you. Chum, chum, chum. That's it, triple jab. Chum, chum. Chum, chum. All right, add the overhand right. That, 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 boom. That's it, stay long. Chin down. Hit that back. Feels good once you get going. Move your feet. Breathe. That's it, catch your breath and move. You gotta stay loose, that's the key. And hear that breathing, We're getting the rhythm of opening up your breathing. Okay, overhand right shovel hook. You practice your breathing as much as you practice your techniques. The key is you let the air out. 
let the, all the air out, then your body will automatically breathe in. If you hold it, okay, you're gonna be off rhythm. Let it out. Have fun with it, have fun with it. We're moving. Move to the outside. That's it. That's it. That's it. And you move. A little power if you want. All right. Feels nice. Moving like that. Moving like that is different. Get some air. Relax your body. That's five rounds down. Okay, you're halfway. Even if you made it this far, it's pretty good. If you need to skip a combo, do every second one, that's fine. Work at your level. There's something in here for everyone. I don't care what level you're at. Okay, next combo. It's a little bit medium range. Hold your ground. Two, one, two, cover. Five body. So you kind of use this Two on two, to get to where you want to be, you cover, but it's not a pull. You cover, ah, and you throw a short shot to the body. This might not be a knockout shot, or it might be just be something to set up more, but you want to get there, ah, cover. You let them throw back, usually they throw the right hand, you cover it, on their way back, that spot is open. Boom, when you catch it. So let's start. Two on two, let's start like that, two on two. Just get used to it. Good balance, good balance, okay? Not, right, just good balance. Move a little bit. That's it, let the hands do the work. Let the hands do the work. And when you're ready, go. You can push the speed if you want. Okay, now you're gonna cover. Two, one, two, cover. That's it, just get good at that cover. Elbows in, palms in. Cover. Cover. That's it. Cover. Breathing and move. Cover. And cover. And cover. Cover. All right, you know what to do. Move around the back. Okay, now after you cover, you cover for a split second, then here, short shot to the body. Then you go. Cover, fine. You don't have to recoil. Just cover. Don't recoil back. Lead side's already ready. Cover their counter. They throw. You get them back. That's it, hold your ground. You go in there, holding your ground. That's what you're there for. All right, beautiful work, beautiful work, beautiful. Fantastic. Different elements, different tactics, stuff you can really use.
And if not, you just use it for a workout for fitness. Oh, my nose in is cold, my nose is running. Okay, next two combos are, are a bit of a tribute to Roberto Duran. Stuff that he likes to do. But not just him. A lot of, a lot of fighters. Tyson, uh, pressure, even Lomachenko in the orthodox. So here's how it's gonna work. We start here from the outside. You duck. Lead hook overhand right. Don't be here. You gotta be out. And you move in, you jump in, you duck. Boom. Boom. You get under. All right, okay. You can either step, hook, or you can go under and do a little gazelle hop either way. Okay, so move around. Duck, lead hook, overhand right. Move. You get under, you get under. That's it, you move. You get under. You move. And you get under. Now your body's warmed up. If you're not tired, you can put a little more heat into your shots. It's okay if you're tired though, because it's challenging. Make sure you come out the back straight on. Okay, under, here, here. Lead uppercut to the body. Under, lead uppercut to the body. When you come under, keep your balance upright. Don't be over here like this, okay? You're gonna need it, because the final punch is right uppercut to the body. That's how it is, we get in there and go like so. But that's getting ahead of us. The bag might move. And you gotta adjust. Just adjust. Take an extra half second if you need it. We add the right uppercut. Duck. Three over. Up, up. Let's just go for it. One, two, three, and. Find your rhythm. If the bag moves, you gotta move with it. That's it. Keep working. Duck. Ooh. Great work. Great work, great work. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more combos. Keep it looking good. The next one is going to be a little bit Duran style as well. Just relax, catch your breath. We've got three more to go. Last one is where I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you. Okay, Duran, instead of slipping or ducking, he likes to do sort of this, this dip. It's kind of almost like an exaggerated slip and duck down. And he comes over hard with the overhand right. Sometimes he jabs first and does it. It's a bit of a big motion, but it gets him out of the way so he can come with a shot. All you're gonna do is here, drop it, and throw, load that shot. Boom, and then duck under again. Okay, so here, drop, overhand right, under. Okay, it could just be a straight right that loops. Don't worry about it. As long as you hit your target. 
That's it. Bit of a banger, bit of a banger shot. Okay, you step on it. You move it here. I step and I come in with it. Use that lead leg. It's a nice one, it's a nice one. Sometimes Duran likes to jab first, drop. Go like so, okay? He's awesome at getting inside. It's like a, a Tyson who could move backwards and fight, or like a Pacquiao with more technique, more tactics, and get under. Feels solid, eh? When you land that, feels good. Okay, now after you come up, straight right hand, that's gonna be the lead hook after. So for now, come up. Really clear out of the way. Clear, overhand right under. Don't worry if you're slow, move your head. Then the lead hook is coming at the end. Really get the head out of the way. Good job, good job. Aim for your target. Pick a spot. Okay, now we have the lead hook at the end. Dip, over, straight, lead hook. Get into your rhythm. That's it. That's it. Chin down, bring those hands with you. Man, I'm starting to feel this. We're working hard. Head movement really tires you off. Good shots, good shots. Duck. All right. Fantastic work. Fantastic work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, next one. Catch your breath, catch your breath, catch your breath. Next one's gonna be a one, two with a switch step out that way. So I'll just show you. One, two, here, boom. If you just swivel, you'll be short. You gotta move in also. One, two, here, and then two. We're gonna double up on that right side. Do something a little unexpected. So one, two, and then just shift. For now, that's all we're gonna start with. One, two, work on the shift. And then move and breathe and recover. All right, here we go. Get that one, two, and then shift out. That's it. And here we go. And get that shift with the hands up. That's it. Okay, punches nice and clean. Wow, oh, here it comes. We're gonna get that body. They're gonna block it, and we're gonna get that body shot up the center or to the chin. They won't even know we're there. And you gotta come hard. The one, two, quick. Not necessarily hard, quick. Get them to cover up. Oh, there it is, there it is. But we don't have to let it go just yet. Just get your shift. There it is, there it is. Breathing steady. Okay, now we're gonna add the uppercut. Keep, keep your balance. See your balance, keep it. Cause you need that right hand at, at the end. 
Okay, be careful not to lean. Don't lean. Knuckles, get those knuckles in there. Get that angle. And breathe it. Okay, now we go here, uppercut, right hand, reload. A little unorthodox. It's hard work, recoiling. That's hard work. I'm already thinking about the break. Hang in there. Hands up. You go, you adjust. Adjust to that bag. Great work. This is hard. Breathing. This is hard. Hang in there. Ah. Okay, killer work. We got one combo left, and we're gonna finish hard. So as hard as that was, we're gonna go hard still. All we're gonna do is this. It's gonna be a right hook, left hook to the body, right hook, left hook up top. You don't have to move. Hold your ground. But get as many as you can. As many as you can. Yeah, ba ba, cover, ba ba. So maybe even one or two seconds between combos. Three if you need it, but keep the pace high. Okay, push yourself hard to finish for this last round. All right? Breathe and get some air in. Just know, hey, this is the last one. And you earned it for today. You did this, you earned it. If you did it light, okay, well, next time you're gonna come back. That's another way you can support this channel. Do the whole video, do the whole workout. Do it two, three times, do it 10 times. Rotate them, do them all. All right, here we go. Inside. <laughs> Right hook, left hook. Tail, tackle that bag. That bag doesn't want any part of you. You're right up in there. It doesn't like you. The bag doesn't like you. It doesn't like you. But it has to keep coming back. I know the bag doesn't hit back, but it's crying. It's crying. I hear it crying. That bag is crying a little bit. Work it. Work it, work it. Work that body. Work it, work it. Work that body. They gotta feel it harder than you feel it working. They gotta feel it. You're going like this? No, man. They gotta feel it harder than you're working. It's gotta hurt them more than it hurts you. That's it. Okay, now we have the hook up top. Just short, because they're gonna be low. Okay, here we go. Push it, push it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's the 10th round. Come on, you're not gonna get tired now. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Breathing, you need air. You need air, that's fine. You'd be happy when the other punch comes. Give that right hand a break. Steady pace, come on now. What have you got, what have you got? Because we're only about a minute left in a few seconds. So you can't quit now. You don't want to know for the next 24 hours that you quit. Ha, ha, four punches, okay? Hook by, hook by, hook head, hook head. You don't want to know that you quit on a minute. You go rest now for the rest of the day. <laughs> Come on now. 
You quit on one minute, no way. Push yourself. Ah, that back doesn't like you. It doesn't like you. It wants nothing to do with you. You love this back. You're right there. You love it, you're in its face. You can hang out all day. You can hang out all day, be here all day. You love this bag. You love this bag. I love this bag. Come on. Breathing. You love it, you love it. You wanna hurt it. Yo, you hear it. You hear it groaning. This bag is groaning. Come on, come on. There it is. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, I feel that here. Get the air, get the air, get the air. All right. Like I said before, I structured this bag workout so you can follow along. But it's real. You do this, you get in shape, it'll prepare you for an amateur fight. You know, again, like somebody said, I'm not gonna fight, but I train like I might. That's some comment I love that, I love that. Not gonna fight, but train like you might. Like you might just. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys had a good workout doing this with me. Hit that like button. Hit the like and the subscribe. Don't leave me hanging, okay? Either hit it or go to another channel. <laughs> All right, you like this channel, help me out, support it, hit that like button. That's all I ask. Do the workouts, these are for you. Okay, you support me by doing them. I support you by creating them. These lockdown times are tough. You don't have a bag, do it shadow boxing. You give me something. Give me something is better than giving me nothing or doing nothing. Okay, so just put in this work. Your body and mind are gonna feel it. They're gonna benefit from all this work. Anyways, I know I'm preaching the choir. You guys already know. You're already dedicated troopers. Anyways, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace. Ooh. <laughs>